so there are some more settings that you need to take care of for example you know uh, let's say you want to put the retargeting codes for example let's say the facebook retargeting code or google analytics pixel or maybe a chat plugin or anything anything whatever code you want to add you can put it right over here right so you need to uh, click on the settings and you need to click on retargeting codes at the same time you want to give your page a name for example let's say uh, you know sorry training so this is my the name of my page you want to give it a description right uh, let's say awesome training right at the same time uh, let's say the author so this is how it's gonna look like inside the uh, google right when whenever this page is loading or whenever this page is shared on social media and stuff right and you want to add some keywords over here for example let's say facebook ads right so this is something that you can do and then you want to add an image for example right so uh, let's say this is the image that I want to add. So you just need to click on it once, right? And you know, we have the image and then you need to click on update. So this is the SEO settings. Click on the, you know, cross icon. This is done. At the same time, if you want to change the URL of this page, so you can click on edit URL. You can go to say action, click on edit URL. And over here, you can, you know, change the URL of this page. So for example, let's say I want to make it FB hyphen special, for example, you know, this is a Facebook special training and then click on publish. So after you have done anything, you need to click on publish and you know, that's how it will be published into your live page. At the same time, uh, let's suppose if you want to make some changes that you don't want to publish in your live page right now, but you want to, you know, save them and you want to come back to it and do some changes over there later on so you just click on save and that's how you can do it so now let's say let's go to the published url once again and you will see that this page has a name now right so this is saurabh Bhatnagar, this is saurabh training and the url is this sbu.flexifunnels.com hyphen uh, sorry slash fb hyphen special right so now we have a url over here that looks like this right and then we have the remaining page so these are some of the basic settings you can click on back to pages for example and uh, this will take you to your uh, project right the project that you have created and over here also you can do all of this stuff for example you can go to page settings and you know you can um, uh, change the url from here at the same time just to remember what page is this you wanna you know change the name over here so you can do that fb hyphen special so inside your project it should you know look like this do you see this is this is changed so back to overview and uh, we have other things for example you want to clone the page page url reports i mean this reports tab will come into picture when whenever you are getting some opt-ins using this page so in this page we don't have the opt-in so it's okay right and uh, yeah so these are some of the basic settings right at the same time you know it if you want to add a domain to this particular project once again you need to click on project settings and you can select a domain right and that's how you can add a domain to it so yeah this is the uh, other page settings that are there page and project settings that are there right so yeah this is it for this particular video i'm gonna see you in the next one